it's Jessie V. And yes, I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt today and a thermal detonator necklace. If you guys know Star Wars, you know what this is. And don't worry, it's not gonna blow up. I just got a Star Wars theme going on and I just love it. And you're probably gonna see me wearing this in the next video because I am filming two videos today. So double Star Wars, double videos. <laughs> All right, so today we have another Valentine's sort of themed video talking about Hershey's Kisses because yes, many people eat Hershey's Kisses specifically on Valentine's Day, hence why it's called Kisses. So we're getting into the history, the weird facts, the creepy pastas, all things you guys are familiar with. But before I jump right into today's video, I just want to mention one more time, if you have not seen my new background behind me, I've had it for the past two videos, catch up. But if you would like to win it, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jessie V channel, turn on your notification bell, and then head over to my new channel. It's called Jessie's Bookshelf. All you have to do is subscribe there and comment on my very first video. You can comment anything, but try and keep it book related. Maybe your favorite book, your favorite character, anything you want. And yeah, that's all you have to do to be entered. And also don't forget if you would like a Valentine's Day mystery box or any of the really cool Valentine's Day stuff we have on our website, I will link it down below. Our stock is going down. So if you want something, definitely check it out or just go on the website to see all the cool Valentine's Day stuff we have going on. It's really cool. Okay, so let's get into the history of Hershey's Kisses. Hershey's Kisses is a brand of chocolate produced by the Hershey Company in 1907. The bite-sized pieces of chocolate have a distinctive shape, sometimes described as a flat bottom teardrop. Hershey's Kisses chocolates are wrapped in squares of lightweight aluminum foil. They have been one of the most popular candies to have on Valentine's Day. But you may be surprised to learn that Hershey's wasn't the first company to come out with these tear-shaped Kisses chocolates. It turns out a competitor named Henry Oscar Wilbur released a remarkably similar product in 1894 called the Wilbur Bud. The Wilbur Bud achieved its shape through the cumbersome process of molding. So basically melted chocolate was literally poured onto something and it gave it that sort of teardrop look and then it was left there to solidify. It was not wrapped in foil. And so Hershey saw this and they streamlined the process with a machine that formed the right shape automatically with a nozzle plopping kiss after kiss onto a cooled conveyor belt for speedy delivery down the assembly line. And apparently this nozzle also makes like a kissing sound whenever it releases the chocolate, which I think, was that on purpose or not? So yeah, basically the Wilbur Buds were like handmade. It took such a long time and Hershey's had a huge factory. And they saw that people didn't want to carry around like the chocolates without the foil because it was melting in people's hands. And that's why they decided to come out with this foil to go around them, which was also put on by the machines as well. Everything was just so easy with Hershey. And since Hershey was already incredibly popular in the early 1900s, these teardrop chocolates took off and a lot of people forgot about the Wilbur Buds. I kind of feel bad about about that I feel like a lot of history of candy companies they saw like another small business doing something and they're like yeah I can do that better so don't forget about the Wilbur Buds okay they started it okay so let's get into some weird facts Hershey's made a kiss that tipped the scales at more than 30,000 pounds to celebrate its 100th anniversary putting it on display at Chocolate World in Hershey Pennsylvania in 2007 obviously this was like the largest chocolate ever made that's insane the kiss machine in Hershey, Pennsylvania run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Apparently each day they make 70 million kisses. That's insane. Apparently if you lined up all the kisses that they made in a year, it would span 300,000 miles. Also take note of the street lights when strolling Chocolate Avenue in Hershey, Pennsylvania. More than a hundred are shaped like Hershey's kisses wrapped and unwrapped. Apparently these were installed in 1963 and they're pretty interesting to see. It reminds me of like a Dr. Seuss world or something like everything in this area is just like chocolate themed and weird. Hershey's Kissmobile has traveled 250,000 miles giving out samples and sparking smiles since its debut in 1997. Like these vehicles literally just hold tons of chocolates in them and like I'm just I'm fascinated. Another weird fact is that Hershey and his wife Kitty had tickets to board the Titanic on its maiden voyage but something made them return home instead. They had some business 
business thing that kept them from getting on the Titanic, but could you imagine if they did? Because we all know what happens, and then who knows where Hershey's chocolates would be now. And have you looked at the logo? Because there is a sideways kiss hiding between the K and the I in kisses, and now you'll never be able to unsee it. I remember a few years ago, I did like a whole video on like secret symbols and logos. I love it. I went to school for graphic design, and I love that they put a secret kiss in their logo. All right, so let's get into the creepy pasta. This is called the secret message. This is about a girl that found a little package of kisses in her locker on Valentine's Day. She had no idea how the person put them there as she obviously had a lock on her locker, but she was just so excited by the idea that someone in her school had a crush on her. She brought them home and sat on her bed and opened the package and ate Hershey's kisses rolled out. And she picked one up to eat when she noticed something very strange. So you know that little paper that sticks out of the top that says kisses on it. I presume they put this in there to make like opening the chocolate a lot easier. You just like pull it and it just like unwraps. Well, instead of saying kisses on that paper, it was this long sheet of paper that was stuffed inside the chocolate and there was like sloppy handwriting on it written in pen. So she pulled it out and the first one said, your hair is so pretty, I love the way you brush it. She pulled out the second one and it said, I love the red sneakers you put on every morning. Now she kind of thought it was sweet that every single kiss that she had had something nice written about her, like this person who had a crush on her took the time to do this for her. So at first she was like really flattered about this. Then the third one said, I love that you read books on the bus to school. But then things started to take a turn and the messages got creepier and creepier by the moment. The fourth one said, I love that you turn your bedroom light off at 10 p.m. on the dot each night. Are you kidding me? Then the fifth one said, I love that you bring a flashlight with you to get water from the kitchen at 3 a.m. So you're telling me he's literally watching her at 3 a.m.? The sixth one said, I love that when you're home alone, you put on Disney movies as background noise. So I guess she's not really home alone, is she? The seventh one said, I love that you still snuggle with a stuffed rabbit at night, even in high school. Oh boy. And the last one, the best one of them all, the eighth one said, I love that you never see me looking through your window. Ah! Okay, so obviously this took a very dark turn. That is terrifying. This actually reminds me of the story that I just did about the watcher who was like stalking that family. Clearly this girl is being watched and stalked getting creepy messages. Honestly guys, there's nothing worse than getting anonymous messages that are creepy because literally it makes you paranoid. You're always looking around. You have no idea who sent them to you. Like, no, thank you. I decline. If I got this, it'd be going right to the police. So thankfully, I believe this is only a creepypasta. Hopefully that is the case. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this very strange Valentine's Day video. Obviously, I'm still gonna eat Hershey Kisses. They're delicious. I love them. But uh, comment down below what your favorite candy is to get on Valentine's Day. And don't forget, if you would like to win this new backdrop behind me, head over to my Jessie's Bookshelf channel. I have a new video going up there any day now. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!